right, today I'm going to talk about playing harmonics. I mean, who doesn't love to play harmonics? And getting them on the stick is really easy. Uh, there's basically two ways that you can get harmonics on the stick. Uh, the first way is to just uh, damp the string uh, with your right hand while you play the notes. And the second way is to strike the strings. So I'm going to show you both of those uh, techniques. And uh, we'll do it step by step. Uh, it's really easy. Uh, you start off just by playing a note normally, tapping it as you would uh, with your left hand. So here I'm just tapping an E at uh, fret number two. And uh, to get the harmonic, what you do is you lightly damp the string with your other hand. So uh, whatever fingers are available. Uh, in this case, uh, the, uh, I want to use my, my first finger. And I'm going to choose the harmonic by uh, selecting different frets, uh, different distances away from the tapped note. So right there I'm playing an E, and then if I go up 12 frets from there, which is going to put me at fret number 14, I just lightly damp the string, and I can remove my finger or not. Uh, sometimes I like to pull it away to make sure that I can do like vibrato and things on there. Uh, otherwise I can just leave it there. Yeah right on the string and I'm still going to get the harmonic because that harmonic note, the string's vibrating on this side of it and it's vibrating on that side of it. And one of the things I like to do is kind of prime my ear to hear the harmonic within the note. So I can play that note and then I can play the harmonic and play the note again. And I can hear the harmonic contained within the note. All the harmonics that I'm going to play are already in the sound of the note. I'm just isolating them by damping different vibrating nodes along the line of the string. So uh, my first one is that uh, octave above, and I can just play the note there, and you can hear that that's the octave, and that's the harmonic. Uh, if I play it seven frets higher than the note, so count up here to um, fret number nine, I get the fifth, an octave and a fifth above that note. And again, I can play that note, and then I can play it again. I can kind of hear that harmonic within the sound of the note. If I play it five frets away, I get the double octave above uh, the root note. I can really hear that double octave in there really nicely. Uh, you can actually get a, a harmonic at every single fret on the instrument. So if I go four frets away, there I get the third, the major third, above that double octave. So, and I can even hear that one contained in there. If I go uh, three frets away, so that gives me the fifth above that third. And then if I go just two frets away, I get the second or the ninth above that uh, third and fifth there. And I can even do that down here 10 frets away. That comes out a little bit better. So I've got 12, 10, 7, 5, 4, 3, and then 2. There's that uh, ninth again. So those are all the different distances that I need to be away from the tapping note in order to get the harmonic note. One of the things I love about Emmett's tuning is because our hands are reaching over the strings, we can access um, the other side of the board to play the harmonics with whatever spare digits we have available. Uh, now I can use uh, different digits to play different harmonics. So in that first example that I just showed at the beginning, I was playing this A minor seventh chord right here and I was using my thumb to damp that. Let's count to say one, two, three, four, five frets away. So if I just play that normally, um, I hear uh, the minor seventh and the minor third there, the minor third and then the minor seventh. But if I damp the string here, that's the double octave up above where they were. Okay, so there's that. So I'm using my thumb a free digit. Uh, I have a tune called Adrift where I play a harmonic with my pinky. Let's see if I can get that one right here. So I go. So that harmonic was, uh, the note was played at fret 4 and the note was damped at fret number 11. 
That's seven frets away, so that gives me an octave and then the fifth above that. Here's an exercise from the stick book called Melodic Harmonics. I can also um, get harmonics to speak when I'm playing uh, like two-handed bass, for example. If I'm playing like this, I'm lining up in a minor pentatonic pattern where I've got the seventh, I've got my root, which in this case is B, minor third, fourth, then double the fourth, fifth, seventh, and octave. And these fingers are set uh, five frets apart. These are three frets apart. These are five frets apart. And then these are seven frets apart. So if I kind of leave these fingers on the strings, I get different harmonics to speak out at different points. Now, you can also play harmonics on the melody strings, uh, but for me, I don't really find that all that interesting because the, there's a lot more uh, overtones on the bass strings, uh, and so I just tend to do it uh, with both hands there. Uh, the other thing that you can do is to kind of whack the strings. So if I'm, let's say I'm double stopping uh, these two strings here, uh, uh, these are the, my third and fourth bass strings at uh, fret two. If I strike those same strings, I get the harmonics. And those sound nice with uh, uh, some reverb on them. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just remember the distances away from the tapped note. You tap the note as normal in the left hand and lightly damp the string right on top of the fret uh, with the other hand. Uh, and you can arrange uh, the harmonics in all kinds of ways. Individual notes, double stops. Uh, sometimes I like to even play a chord arpeggio like on the end of Charmed Life. So that goes like this. Happy tapping.